guys, good afternoon. It's Victoria, part of Team Black. How you doing? Um, I know it's been a while since we came up with some videos and things, but uh, we're back in action now. And we're now going to kick up with the Fitness 101 series, uh, which is just basically gives you more of an education as to why certain moves work the way they do and what benefits they can bring to you in the long term and it's quite suitable for people who are just getting into fitness so you know the ins and outs of everything and what to do while you're in the gym or when you're eating for example now this video I'm going to talk about why you aren't losing weight or stroke gaining muscle and so we're going to kick off in terms of losing weight what most people think is the old calorie um, myth where you eat less and you work out more and you get the results you want that's not gonna happen because trust me you could eat less but you could be eating still be eating the wrong foods which are high in calories and saturated fat and you could be working out more but not doing workouts which are sufficient to your body type and you are working hard enough and pushing yourself to the level which would um, see change. In terms of nutrition, what a lot of people do wrong is they think once they go to the gym, they can reward themselves with like a pizza or something like that because they feel like it, they deserve this reward for working hard for like one hour or so. And it doesn't work out like that. And people come up to me saying, oh my god, Victoria, I've been working out for like, I've been working out for so long, I've been doing like four days a week, strength training, this and that, and, I'm, and they're like, I'm not seeing any results, like, what's the problem? And I'm like, what do you eat? And they give me this list of things they're eating, and I'm like, you know, you're eating a pizza after you're done working out, and then you're going out clubbing later, and then you're eating, drinking these high calorie like cocktails and things. You're not going to see any results, are you? then it's important to get your nutrition down and in terms of nutrition what you need to do is eat clean when I mean eat clean eat stuff that come naturally from the earth and not processed your vegetables your fruits drink a lot of water and stay away from the highly processed foods you know what I mean the ready meals and like the aisles and all the supermarkets your takeouts you know pizza Chinese food the list goes on you need to eat sufficiently clean if you're going to see results basically and that's it's pretty simple you know I mean I can't emphasize that enough uh, for example when I started my fitness journey I was working out thoroughly but then I didn't notice the difference because I was still stuck in Haribo and <laughs> Haribo is extremely addictive uh, so I had to cut that out because that's artificial sugar and I up I threw the pen away, I'm sorry. And then, so I upped my um, my intake of fruits, natural occurring sugars, like an apples, apples, pineapple, pears, you know, good stuff fresh from the earth. And I saw a difference, especially in my ab area. It got more defined and, you know, good things happen. Now, in terms of working out, now, you need to push yourself. Look, if you go to the gym, you come out, you're not sweating, you haven't done anything unless you've done like a low intensity workout like yoga, pilates or some stretching if your cardio and your strength training doesn't make you break a sweat you are not going to see a difference I'm telling you right now you need to do some high intensity training to be able to see a change in your body I'm telling you once you get that down you you pretty much figured out the reason why you're not losing weight really in terms of the high intensity training what I suggest is, in the beginning, since I didn't know what to do in terms of uh, high intensity training, what I did was I joined some group exercise classes like body pump, uh, interval training, circuit training, and, um, there was this, and I did some boxing as well. All these things rely on your body resistance and by doing that, you're challenging yourself and within like two weeks or so, I saw the same results, I got more toned, more defined. And what I was doing with these strength training workouts, I did it at least four times a week. And one day was left off for stretching, yoga, that kind of thing. Consistency is key. When you're consistent with your workouts, you will see results. There's no point in you working out like once a week and then like you um, 
you, ex you, you wonder why you're not seeing any results. You have to be consistent. You need to push yourself hard in order to like gain results and things. I think that's pretty much it. I didn't want to ramble as much, you know. But if you have any questions, uh, do let me know. Leave a comment below. Um, contact me on my Facebook, anything. We need to like um, go further into things like that. And uh, yeah, guys, so the key message from this video is number one, in terms of nutrition, eat clean as much as possible, eat clean. And the rule of thumb for eating clean is eat stuff that's grown from the earth and not processed. And number two, in terms of your workout, you just have to be consistent and push yourselves, you see. My rule of thumb is if you don't come out sweating, you didn't do anything. You need to break a sweat in order to see results. So that's it for me, guys. Um, Blag is now back in business. We missed you, and I we can't speak English. And we hope you missed us. Do get in contact with any of us if you want to. And uh, that's it for me. Uh, have a good, have a good summer. Apply sunscreen. Drink loads of water because that can be extremely dehydrating as well. I'm, and I'm not enjoying this weather right now. It's really hot. But you know, you got to keep cool. You know, be happy eat clean and work out hard. And that's it for me guys. Have a good day. Bye.